Hey guys, it's time to share what I got my kids for Christmas. Uh, I share this video every single year, December 1st. And so if all goes according to plan, you're watching this on December 1st. So congratulations, we are in 2020 level 12. We made it to December, it's almost over. We're doing this, guys. Um, I have four kids, they are 11, nine, seven, and almost four in just a couple months, which is so hard to believe. Um, so I'm, I have two boys, two girls. I'm gonna tell you what I got for all of them. I'm gonna share what some of our family gifts are because we give them a few gifts for themselves and then we give them like board games and things like that that they can open together, just build that sense of community. And I'm also going to tell you about a bigger ticket family gift that we and the rest of our family all pitch in toward, which is, um, kind of helps eliminate all of the massive gift giving that happens at Christmas. So I am going to, yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you now. It's late. I have to film this every year when my kids are sleeping and then I have to wait and make sure they're like super sleeping. So yeah, let's do this. So if you've been keeping track in my last few videos, then you know that I am doing a giveaway with a woman-owned small business in all of my holiday videos. So today's giveaway is one that I'm really excited about. Today's giveaway is from Young, Wild, and Friedman. We love our Young, Wild, and Friedman dough kit subscription. I have been a subscriber to this for a few months now. Every single month we get a different holiday themed right now, but it'll go back to regular themes in January. Uh, Play-Doh and sensory kit from Julie. This is, she has such an amazing story. She is, she is a hard working mama. She is a mom of four, I believe. She just had a little girl. She is absolutely adorable. This little baby is giving me baby fever big time. I have to stay off Instagram stories because she is so stinking cute. Um, and she started this Play-Doh or this uh, dough kit subscription service after realizing how important sensory play was for her older child. Um, at the time who was a toddler, I believe. And it was just such a benefit in their home that she started selling it. She immediately started selling out. And now she has had to expand her business, I wanna say no less than four times in the last year or two. She is working in a big warehouse. She employs tons of women. I absolutely love her story. And so uh, I went ahead and picked the space kit as the giveaway for this. So I'm gonna put a picture up here of what the space dough kit looks like. If you guys are interested, the info for this giveaway is in the description box down below. I figured the space kit was great for older kids, younger kids, boys and girls. I had a lot of fun picking out which kit I wanted to use for today's giveaway. So you don't have to be a subscriber to her service in order to buy these dough kits. She also has a regular you know, place on her website where you can just shop all sorts of different dough kits that are in stock. It's amazing, it's really fun. I look forward to doing this with Annie every month. I look forward to the new dough kit that comes in the mail just as much as she does. So thank you so much, Julie, for partnering with me on today's giveaway and for such an enthusiastic yes. She gave a very quick yes when I reached out to her and told her about this women-owned small business giveaway. And I'm really excited to share her product with you guys because it's really creative and it's really fun and it really has blessed our home and my time with my three-year-old. So like I said, all the info is in the description box down below. Okay, so like I said, we're trying the four gift rule this year. This year, my kids know about their main gift, which is, again, it's kind of like a family gift. In order to minimize the amount of extra stuff they receive from grandparents who love our kids and love gifting things to our kids, um, we have, for the last five, six years done a big group gift and the grandparents can put whatever they want toward it if, or if, choose if they want to put toward it, but every year, all grandparents have been on board and it's been a huge blessing to our home. It's been everything from a swing set for the kids to last year we decided, John and I decided to take the kids on their first ski trip. One grandparent purchased a day of ski school for all the kids, another grandparent purchased all of their um, gear that they needed. Like we live in Florida, so we didn't have any of those snow clothes or things or anything. So it's really helpful. And all of the grandparents have been on board with seeing that the memories that are being made and the um, larger ticket family gifts are just really helpful for us and do create 
a lot of meaningful memories for the whole family. So we're super grateful that all of the grandparents have been on board. So last year the ski trip was a surprise and this year it's not a surprise. The kids know we're going again. Um, we already own a lot of the stuff we need for it because of last year. We kind of we kind of have our footing on how it's going to go this year and so other grandparents are again they're all going to do something along those same lines like an extra day of ski school or twilight skiing we're going to try this year so i believe um one of the grandparents is going to purchase toward that john and i obviously still cover like the base of the trip and don't ask the grandparents to put anything toward it that would make or break the trip everything that they put toward it is just like a, the cherry on top and it just makes it so much more fun so that is my kids like big gift this year also it's a family vacation so uh it's not like their only or it's not like our it, the whole trip isn't a gift for my kids but we just want to prioritize that family time um and those that memory making versus dollars spent so my kids each have one high price point item, but I didn't pay more than $75, I want to say, for each kid's big ticket item. So I just instead put our Christmas budget toward extras for this trip. So that's rambly, but that's what it is. So that being said, we decided this year we we're going to try the something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read thing. I didn't really know what to do for something to wear other than getting creative like with backpacks or accessories. So I just omitted that and I added something STEAM, science, technology, technology, engineering, art, or math because I love educational toys. <laughs> Next week I have my educational toy gift guide coming up. Side note. Um, and I couldn't not do an, do an educational something in there. So I took out something to wear because it wasn't even part of the rhyme anyway and I added something steam. So something you want, something you need, something steam, and something to read. So each of my kids will be getting one thing that they really want and the rest of it, John and I decided on everything. They have no idea. They didn't ask for any of the rest of the stuff. It's just stuff that we noticed they really needed. And then we always do like a bunch of board games and things like that for them to open all together because I just think that makes Christmas morning really fun when they're opening things together and then they want to play with things together. So that's a memory that I've always tried to cultivate for them are like board games and things like that. So I'm going to start with my boys. Um, now, like I said, each of their something you want, their like higher value item are about $100. But I start shopping in like September and I've just watched deals and I didn't pay more than $70, $75 um, for each of their higher price point items. So um, Eli, my seven-year-old son, his something you want is this big Marvel Avengers Lego set. It's 699 pieces. And again, this like original price was like $100, but this was, I think this was a around Prime Day purchase. So this is his something you want, and he probably knows he's getting that because it's the only thing he's asked for. And um, I, I'm excited about that um the next thing is his something you need his something you need is actually the same as jesse my nine-year-old something you need and it goes along with his main gift it's this lego storage bag it's like a it's a duffel bag and inside it has three smaller lego duffel like storage duffel bags and they have a clear top so you can see inside um I thought they did. Maybe they don't. Maybe one of them does. I don't know. So you can see inside what's in here. So these are just three compartments that fold out to be the full size of this. So it's just Lego storage. They love taking Lego with them when we go places. And as you can imagine, it's kind of silly because they don't really have any great storage. So they just carry those plastic storage shoe bins with them or actual cardboard shoe bins, which is really not great in my car because I have Legos everywhere, um, so they got that. I will link all of this down below. Something Steam is this um, National Geographic glow-in-the-dark marble run. I accidentally left this in the box. So I know that it doesn't. Here we go. Here we go. 
We have a wooden marble run that is just all of my kids and he really has enjoyed that lately. I thought this glow in the dark marble run would be cool for him. So this is his something steam. And then his something to read is this Nocturnals activity box. Um, so this is a, he loves foxes. And so this comes with a little fox. And then it also has these three grow and read books, level one, level two, and level three, about these little nocturnal animals. And then there's a coloring book as well. So that is his something you want, something you need, something steam, and something to read. Then my nine-year-old son, Jesse, he is super into Nerf right now. And this is not coming out of this box. John, John will set it up probably on Christmas Eve and we will wrap it in some wacky way. Um, but it is just this like Amazon exclusive Nerf gun. I'm just gonna put a picture here because it's pretty big, I think. Um, and so I'm not gonna assemble it and then try to hide it somewhere in the house. Uh, but yeah, this is like a big Nerf gun. He's gonna lose his mind. He's so into Nerf right now. Um, and then his something you need is again, the same Lego thing. Something Steam is this laser maze game. He has looked at this quite a bit lately when he's seen this. Um, and so I'm excited to give that to him. And then his something to read is the Hardy Boys box set. I think this is gonna be really good for him because he is at that age where he's really interested in kind of like some mystery, but there aren't a lot of positive outlets for that. And so I think, um, I think the Hardy Boys will be a really good uh, set of books for him. So that is what I got for him. Let me get this stuff out of the way and get my girls stuff over here now. Okay, so for my 11 year old, I'm, I'm really excited about her gift. It's really silly and I don't know how long she'll actually have it for and play with it, but when she gave me her little list of things that she wanted there was a toy on it and she has not want she's almost 12 she has not wanted toys really at all this year and so when i saw it i thought this has got to be what we get for her so i got her the lol glamper and um i just think i think this might be the last toy that i ever buy for her <laughs> so i had to get it for her um because she's definitely definitely outgrown the playing for fun stage, like playing with toys. She'll still do it to entertain her sister, to play with her brothers, but independent playing, it's not been a lot of lately. And so I have to get her that glamper. I just thought it was too precious that she was still interested in that. Her something you need is, um, she needs new inline skates. Now this was the same price actually as the boys. All their something you need was right around $50. She has just outgrown her other skates and so she needed, uh, she needed a bigger size and so I got her those skates. Um, I, think they're, I think they're like pink or iridescent or something really, really fun and, and super fun and bright and colorful. Um, so that's her something you need. Her something steam is this, let me see if I can. Um, well, there's really no way to, I just got her a wool felting kit from Etsy. She has wanted to learn a new handcraft and this is one she's been watching videos on when she gets, when she gets a little time to watch some like YouTube kids or something. Uh, she's been really interested in these little crafting videos. And so I got her this wool wool buddy felting kit from etsy i will link this down below it did take a while for shipping but i think you should have plenty of time to get this before christmas still and then her something to read is probably going to be her favorite gift she loves james harriet um and so i got her the full set of books now in a, in the u.s these books are sold as all creatures great and small uh, like all three, all things bright and beautiful. The Lord God made them all. But the UK version, I believe, are the original titles, which is Every Living Thing, It Shouldn't Happen to a Vet, Let Sleeping Vets Lie, Vets Might Fly, 
that in harness, that in a spin, the Lord God made them all and if only they could talk. So I just wanted to get her the original version and I think that's what I did. I was having a difficult time figuring this out, but yeah, I ordered this on Amazon from a seller in the UK and it seemed to be, it seemed to be the original set of books, I'm not sure. But this is something that was almost her something you want because it was about 60, $70 I think. Uh, at the time that I bought it and she really wants this like she really 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 loves animals and she really 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 wanted this um, So she wouldn't have been disappointed if this was like her main Christmas gift, but this is what um, Turned out to be her something you read Originally, I bought her the Penderwicks because I didn't think I was gonna be able to find a copy of these books And so that's probably something that I'll either just stick on our bookshelf in our schoolroom Or if somebody's still looking for a gift for her like my mom She always likes to have a couple things under the tree at her house still for the kids um, I might see if my mom wants to give her that because I think she would enjoy those books as well and then for my three-year-old Annabeth um three-year-old's toys the price point is much lower but the excitement level is so much higher so her something you want is this Barbie color reveal sleepover set it's it's a very bright lots of little pieces gonna be a disaster but it's the thing she really wants and so can't say no to that so that's her something you want amongst other things like basically she wants everything she sees but this is the one she talks about the most her something you need is not this exact one this is something we bought for another child but um i just haven't put hers together yet it's the uh, i think it's called a plasma car um so i got her a pink one from zoo lily it was on, i think i paid like 17 dollars for it the reason it's her something you need is because she can't play and keep up with our kids when they're playing in the road and in the driveway obviously as much because she's so much younger but also she has juvenile arthritis and so there aren't a lot of scooters and bikes and things like that that she can quite handle all the time right now and the plasma car is great because she doesn't have to move her legs and her knees are what usually get swollen so she can just put her feet on the um on the base of this and then you just move the steering wheel and that moves your car around and so I thought that would be really good for her um so that is her gift and but again like it's the price was like a quarter of the kid's price but the size of it and the excitement about it is going to be through the roof she is just she's three and you cannot have the same budget for a three-year-old as you do for an almost 12 year old it's just it's not gonna work her something steam is the coding critter set from learning resources she loves botley and she likes playing with our coding the code and go mouse and so and osmo she loves osmo so i thought the coding critters would be so perfect for her so i got her what is the name of them these ones i think it's like pip or skip or something like that um but yes so this is her Ranger and Zip, uh, her something steam, and then her something to read is a, it's a um, stretch, but I got her this Melissa and Doug puzzle, it's the see and spell puzzle, and then I'm going to partner it up with this um, pattern blocks and boards puzzle, because she loves books, we have tons and tons of books, um, but this is something that I really wanted to give her for Christmas, because all of my kids have had a set of this. Um, this is my third time purchasing the same set because dogs chew blocks and little wooden pieces or will lose letters and then the whole thing doesn't work anymore. Um, I also probably got rid of this years ago before we even considered a fourth child, so I'm gonna hopefully just hold on to this one from here on out. But she loves school so much, so she's going to really love this. Uh, puzzle, she loves preschool. She already is learning letter sounds just naturally. Uh, just picking up on it so i'm excited about giving this to her so that is her something to read and then the thing that i love the most are the different board games and family gifts so i'm going to get this out of the way and show you what i got for all the kids to open together so my kids will have four things from us they'll also have one more thing from secret sibling which is one of my favorite videos to film every year um but we give them each like a 30 dollars budget to get one toy for a sibling that they draw out of a hat 
And uh, so that not only will they all have one thing they really want, but their siblings really know what they like. So they'll get another toy toy from a sibling. So another Lego set or another Barbie set or another like Anna and Elsa set or something like that as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, so as far as the family gifts go, I did get a set of Kinetic Sand. Originally, this was going to be Annie's Something You Need. Um, because she, again, when she has down days, she needs something like that to play with when we're playing outside. Um, but I just decided to give that to everyone once I found the plasma car. I got this board game. It's called I Saw It First. I got the jungle version. There were a few different versions, but this one was the one on sale when I was buying it. And I'm excited about this game because I have seen this on, I think it's, I think I've seen it on Little Pine Learners Instagram for a really long time. And so, um... The price came down like $10, so I grabbed that. Guys, how many times can I say I'm so excited? You guys know that we love our Bug Bingo. What's the name of the company? I feel like, okay, Christine Berry. I don't know what company makes this. Um, like I said, everything I'm going to link below. I just went and got all the ones I could find. I got Bird Bingo, Ocean Bingo, and dog bingo. This is such a great family game for the big gap in my kids' ages. And it's nature-based, which I love, and it's gonna go along with like a lot of our exploring nature with children, and it can be in our schoolroom on the shelf all year la all year round and look pretty. Um, so I got all three of those. I'm gonna wrap it as one big gift. My kids are gonna freak out because they love bug bingo. Like we have played bug bingo must have must be like four or five of the last six family game nights that we've had we do family game nights every sunday so we'll change it up a little we'll have lots of options i got what do you meme family i love getting new board games for christmas because then we play them like all winter long and we are going to bring a bunch of these on our ski trip again this year it was so much fun last year we're floridians we are wimps in the cold and so we would do our little day of skiing or tubing or something and then we'd be in the house all night long so we did a lot of board games last year i'm really looking forward to that this year so this looked really fun this what do you mean family game um i also got Marble Circuit, which was a logic game. I had grabbed this for one of the kids, but then I swapped it out for something different. I got Bells, this one looked fun. And then I also got this Plinko. It's really big. Um, it's the Price is Right game at home, and I'm not gonna lie, like all of my sick days as a kid or a teen, I would watch the Price is Right, and I kind of lost my mind when I saw this game at target it was one of it was part of one of those deals like the buy two get one free game deals and so i was like okay i have to get it so that is what i got my kids for christmas this year i will be back um sometime i believe next week with what's in their stockings stockings were something that my mom really did right when i was a kid like she did them up and so i um I always do a lot in their stockings as well. Um, and then I also have my educational toy gift guide coming up next week on Tuesday. It's an open collab. So just a reminder, you guys can join that as well. And lots more gift guides coming up this holiday season. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you got your kids for Christmas or what you're looking for for your kids for Christmas. I'm usually pretty out of touch on what like the big popular toys are for the year. So what's even trending right now? What does everybody want? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to enter that giveaway. Thank you so much, Young, Wild, and Friedman for partnering with me on today's giveaway and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.